Well, if you're in London and you're on a kind of limited budget and you're tired of surviving on beans on toast and also ready meals from Aldi or even Marks and Spencers, it's time to head to the food markets in the city. There are two kinds of food markets you may come across here in London. One is a permanent feature. Well, it means that they're there seven days a week, located in the same spot. And the other kind of food market is more of a nomadic one. More or less, you have the same vendors, but they move from one part of London to another on different days of the week. Hey you and welcome to my YouTube channel and I've decided to have a theme this time for my London vlogs. Gobble Guzzle Jr and I are trying to track down as many food markets as there are in London and let's see where it will lead us to. First stop, Tottenham Court Road Food Market. Oh wow, I have spotted something that I am definitely into. This stall is called Ocean Box and they have the choice of on your left, that's filet of salmon, or on your right, filet of sea bass. Hmm, let's get our hands on these. Oh yes, if you think the name of this location sounds a little bit familiar, rings a bell. Well, you might have watched My Fair Lady, which was based on a play by George Bernard Shaw, and in it, Eliza Doolittle sells flowers on a little corner on Tottenham Court Road. Ah, salsa. Okay, let's have a generous dose of this. The international food market here in Tottenham Court Road is just like any other food markets in London itself. London is such a big, diverse, cosmopolitan city. And let me tell you this, in the whole of Europe, I think the best Asian food can be found in London. This site itself is not all that big, but nonetheless, there are so many stalls for you to choose from. There's the Lebanese, the Greek, the Thai, the Indian. The Peruvian one looks very, very popular. And of course, the Spanish with the paella. Once upon a time, Tottenham Court Road used to be known as London's Latin Quarter. Once you get your mitts on the food you ordered, the challenging part comes next, and that is finding a place to eat. In this international food market, there is no designated tables and chairs for you to hit to, so you'll have to find the nearest stone bench or even the park benches around the corner. Lepa ajo, babe. It's pleasant on a sunny day like this, but I don't think I like to hang around when it is wet and dreary. No doubt this is one of the smaller food markets in London, but it's in very close proximity to UCL and the UCL Hospital and also the University of Westminster and the University of London, so it can get pretty busy during the lunch hour.
before I decide on which stall to approach next, let's have a little breather and wait for my food to settle down a little bit. I think I have a taste for the Argentine steak next. I'm going to have a little walkabout first. Come and join me. That's right, it's very easy to find halal food in London and especially in this food market. So no worries whatsoever if you have special religious dietary requirement. We can't wait to explore more of the food market scene here in London. And until then, I'm Gobble Guzzle, signing off for now. Always be kind and spread the message of peace. Jumpa lagi. Bye-bye.